Hey everybody, all right, I'm gonna show you real quick how to do a split monogram. So here we go. I'm gonna show you with two different fonts. First, I'm just gonna show you with um, a basic Times New Roman, and then I'm also gonna show you with a font you can download from defont.com. So here we go. I'm just gonna do Times New Roman. I'll be plain Jane today. And I'm just gonna make this real big. Perfect. Then I'm going to go to my rectangle button here, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle through my letter S, and then I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to go to my modify window, and I'm going to subtract. Done. Then I'm just going to take my arrow key, and I'm going to scoot this up, and arrow key and scoot this down. You can make your space however big you want. Go back to my rectangle, and draw a skinny rectangle, and... Then I'm just going to kind of scoot it over a little bit with my arrow key. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate so I get the exact same size and I'm going to bring him down here. Now I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go to the world's best kept secret or silhouettes best kept secret and I'm going to go to the align tool and I'm going to align to the right and see how that just jumped over and became in the same place so I know that they're lined up nice and neat. Then I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to arrow key this guy up so he overlaps the S top and arrow key this guy down so he overlaps the bottom. I'm going to zoom back out. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to weld it together. Let's go ahead and paint this bad boy so you can see it better. Okay, now I'm just going to add my text. And we definitely don't want to use regal font yet. I'm going to show you that in the next one. That's the cool one to use. Okay, now um, I always go to my offset window and I always make my fonts a little bit thicker. It just seems to cut better. I'm just going to drop it to 010. Zero, zero. Whoops. 010. Zero, here we go, and I'm just going to remove the old. See how much thinner these lines are compared to these. This is going to cut so much cleaner and weed so much simpler. So I'm going to select everything, make it a compound path, and then I'm going to go ahead and select my bottom of the S and my top of the S. But I don't want Shoop selected. So I'm just going to hold the Shift key and I'm going to click on the word. And now it's not selected. I have the top of the S and the bottom of the S, and I'm going to right click, I'm going to make it a compound path. The reason why I did that is because now I can select everything with the last name. I can go back to that awesome align tool, and I can say align center, and it just moved it a smidge, but still, I now know it's perfectly placed. Okay, and I'm actually going to bump this up with my arrow key, just one. Okay, then I'm going to paint it again, just so you guys can see and that is all there is to it. It's that simple. Now I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to show you guys how to do the exact same thing with the regal font which is really popular for these tiles. So I'm just gonna go right here. Literally the font's called regal, R-E-G-A-L. It's from defont.com and I'm just gonna make this bigger. You'll see real quick all these crazy intricate designs but don't worry it's really really easy and you'll be thinking why haven't I done this forever ago? So here we go, same exact process. Get yourself a rectangle, draw it through the center, and select everything. And you can go to Object, Modify, Subtract. This takes a little bit of time because it's thinking, 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 and it's getting all those little things separated. There we go. Now, we have all of these little pieces. If I were to move something, oh geez, that's not what I wanted to do. So what we want to do is we want to select everything first and we want to group it together. And same thing on the bottom, group it together. Okay, now we're going to make our little rectangles again. That looks good. Right click, duplicate, bring it down here. Select both of them, line. Align to the right or left, doesn't matter. And then we're going to zoom in. And we want this to cover up a little bit of the S here. 
And we want this to cover up a little bit of the S here. Here we go. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to weld it together. Okay, don't worry about that. It's not a big deal because now we can make it a compound path. Now nothing's going anywhere. Okay? Then from here, we're just going to take this other one that we just used because I'm lazy and I'm just going to make it a lot smaller. I just didn't make the space between my S as big. And I'm going to paint this real quick so I can see it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I want to use that offset window again. So there we go. If you want, you can stretch it a little bit because it's um, a little bit bigger graphic. You can play around with it. Then we're going to offset. And I'm just going to do the same thing. 0, 1, 0. There we go. Zoom back out. Oops. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to make this a compound path. And the reason why is because that is definitely not centered. So I'm going to select everything. Go to my align tool and center it. And there we go. And then I'll just paint it again real quick to show you. Okay. That's it easy then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is um, a monogram trick that I learned from silhouette school blog which is a great blog um, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna download I believe from again defont.com um, the font called monogram KKSC and I'm just going to show you um, my monogram which is LSE so I'm just gonna type LSE Okay, cool, but now I have to ungroup it all and make them the different sizes. Actually, this has a really cool feature. You don't have to do that. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm actually going to hold the Shift key and type L, and then I'm not going to hold the Shift key and type S, and I'm going to hold the Shift key and I'm going to type E. And magically, this is how you want your monogram to look. So I'm just going to make this bigger because. As always, we need to use the offset tool to make those lines a little bit thicker. So this one, I'm going to actually go 0, 1, 5. And I'm going to remove the old. See how much better? Let me delete this. See how much better that looks? Because these lines are a little bit thicker, it's going to be a lot easier for you to weed. Now, these are individual, so I'm just going to scoot this over with my arrow key so that it overlaps the S right here because I'm going to weed it together, or weld it together, sorry. Same thing here, scoot it over, cool. I'm going to put this one in a little bit more. Okay, and then you can select it all and weld it together, and now your lines become one. Now, you see how this has just a teeny tiny bit showing. I'm going to double click and I'm going to zoom in on that one spot and this is just because I'm crazy. Now I'm going to delete this point and that is going to make that opening look better. See now it's not so choppy. So when I go to cut this out it's going to be so much smoother. Okay so there you go. It's that easy. I hope that that helps you guys. Um, I know that a lot of you have been using the Monogram It app, which is a wonderful app, but this is just a quick, easy way to um, do your monogram. If you want to add something fun, you can always draw a circle around it and hold your Shift key down as you draw your circle. And then um, you could just kind of scoot it up here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold my Shift key again while I make it bigger. That just keeps it nice and even. I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to go to my handy align tool as always. I'm going to align it in the middle and then I'm going to align it in the center. And I know I'm off my page, which I can put it in the center of the page. There we go. Okay. Now, something fun. Hopefully you guys know this trick. But if not, just a cool thing. You can go to your line thickness and you can make your polka dots, basically, which is super fun. And just always make sure that you have enough dots to connect. And then you can kind of 
play with it from there. I'm just going to change my line color all to black. You could do a bunch of different colors, change out your vinyl. So there you go. Quick 10-minute video on how to do three different things. I hope this helps you guys. Enjoy.